Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's address, opening the fourth session of the fifth legislative term of the National Assembly. The cabinet highlighted the national message it carried, defining the future priorities and foundations for national action. The Cabinet reviewed what was outlined in His Majesty's address, including the effectiveness of government programmes aiming to achieve fiscal balance and self-sufficiency as the first step towards the development and sustainability of national wealth and resources. The Cabinet highlighted His Majesty's praise for the continuous development of the government's performance and its adoption of the latest administrative and technical priorities, in particular the improved oversight of the quality of services provided to citizens and residents, as well as raising the effectiveness and fairness of the distribution of government support. In addition to the government's interest in improving the skill set of the national workforce, taking care of youth issues and supporting further empowerment of Bahraini women. The Cabinet noticed His Majesty the King's address on the success of the Alternative Sanctions Programme in achieving its objectives. The Cabinet emphasised the prioritising of His Majesty the King's directives in order to start implementing the executive mechanisms and the necessary infrastructure for reform centres and open prisons. The Cabinet also stressed the importance of further strengthening cooperation with the Legislative Authority in reviewing priority legislation to contribute to securing an environment that supports development and achieves the citizens' aspirations. The Cabinet congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the citizens and Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birthday. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding Bahrain's intended nationally determined contribution report, which refers to plans and projects for addressing climate change, including renewable energy projects, water management and afforestation and incorporation into the government plan. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding a draft decision on issuing the executive regulations of GCC Unified Law System to combat commercial fraud. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's responses to two proposals submitted by the Representatives Council and a proposal for a law submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the preliminary performance indicators of the Future Generation Reserve Fund for the six months ending 30th of June 2021. The indicators reflect the efficiency and effectiveness of the Future Generation Reserve's investment policy and has outlined success despite the repercussions presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. A memorandum by the Minister of Health regarding the Ministry's health and climate change pledges in line with Bahrain's international commitments and its active role in climate action and the development of the national health system. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial reports, including the outcomes of the visit to Kazakhstan, the 21st a virtual ministerial opening of the OPEC Plus Group, the visit to the Middle East Real 2021 exhibition and conference in UAE, the participation in the WHO 68th session of the Regional Committee for the Eastern Mediterranean, the official visit to the United States and the telephone meeting with Great Britain and Northern Ireland Secretary of State for International Trade, President of the Board of Trade Chair, and the Minister of State of the Department of International Trade. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Sina Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit to the American University and met with the Educational Administrative Authorities. His Highness affirmed that the Educational March of the Kingdom is witnessing a continuous advancement under the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that contribute to achieving sustainable development goals. His Highness directed the students to exert further efforts in the current phase and affirmed his keenness to support them 
in achieving their goals. He praised the role of the education administrative authorities in providing the best education methods for students. His Highness then held a discussion with his students and answered their qu inquiries and encouraged them to continue their good work. His Highness then received a commemorative gift from the university on the occasion. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the sports sector has become a main factor in promoting Bahrain, which comes in line with the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to contribute to achieving Bahrain's economic vision 2030. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that Bahrain Victorious Cup that was held in Uruguay has contributed to raising the status of the kingdom in the global sports arena. His Highness added that the championship reflects the tremendous support of His Majesty the King to making sports the main pillar for promoting Bahrain. His Highness added that Bahrain will continue to make achievements in international championships, hailing the efforts of Uruguay Union in organising races and congratulating the top winners. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh presided over the Council's weekly meeting. The meeting began by congratulating His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the anniversary of the Prophet's birthday. The Council was then briefed on the letters received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding a number of decree bylaws issued by His Majesty the King according to Article 38 of the Constitution. It approved a draft law, adding a new item to Article 2 of Law 58 of 2008 on the protection of terrorist acts. The Council formed a committee to prepare a draft response to the Royal Speech, headed by the first Deputy Chairman of the Council, Jamal Mohammed Fakhru. It then approved the formation of the Permanent Qualitative Committees, Four council members were then nominated to represent the council in the executive committee of the parliamentary division. The president of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, Samir Nas, chaired a remote meeting in the presence of a number of members of the chamber and Bahraini businessmen. In response to the content of the address of His Majesty the King at the opening of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term, the officials at BCCI were quick to express their pride in response to His Majesty's speech, which included important royal cons consultations that called for necessary to advance the economic and development sectors. The meeting aims to discuss the main messages of the Royal Address by adding a number of suggestions and initiatives that are compatible with the means of promoting the methods of economic and investment work in Bahrain until the submission in writing to His Majesty the King. At the end of the meeting, the participants expressed pleasure with the reassuring sign in His Majesty's address, which affirmed the stability of the national economy's performance. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,170,546 had taken the first dose of the vaccine while 1,132,855 had taken the second and 396,704 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 626 with 47 recoveries and 55 registered new cases. 13 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 36 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel related. 
The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.